show the partnerships. Okay? First thing that we need to go over is how to open, how to start a partnership. What's the three ways you can start a partnership? As in the journals, right? <coughs> Purchasing assets, one. Yep. Second one. Buying money. Sorry? Buying money. Yep. Putting cash in. Yep. What's the third one? Yep. Existing business. With an existing business, what is the key thing you have to remember when you're doing a journal? One of the key things. What's the difference between buying the asset and buying the business? What do you have to look for? Make it balance. Goodwill. Yeah, goodwill. Okay. And what's goodwill? Location is worth something. Your reputation is worth something. Is those numbers or is they valued in your balance sheet? Is there a number in your balance sheet? No. No. But it's worth something to someone. Yeah? So therefore people pay more for businesses because of that. Yeah? You happy with that? So you need to know how to do a journal. We've done journals, we, we're quite familiar with journals, aren't we? Yeah? Got date, particulars, debit, credit. Journal. Done. Yeah? <clears throat> There's key things that you need to know when you're putting it down. Why, why would you put any assets and at fair value, not at book value. What's the difference between fair value and book value? <coughs> These are terms. Um, an asset loses its value if not sold. Yep. Sold. Okay. So what is book value though? When I say book value, what am I meaning? <coughs> What's on in the account? The value that is sitting in your balance sheet, that is book value. You think of a set of accounts as a book, piece of paper, it's the number that is in the books. Yeah? Make sense? Fair value, what do you think fair value is? It says it in the name. The fair price for the asset. The fair price for the asset. The book value is usually an estimate, okay? Because we're depreciating it. Depreciation is an estimate of how much it's going to go down. Yeah? It, you might have a car. You might have had it for three years. Look, say you've got two cars. Let's say you've got two cars. You might have had those two cars for three years. You've purchased it at the same time, it's worth the same amount of it, amount when you purchased it. Yeah? You've depreciated that car equally over the same time. Yeah? <coughs> but you've got two staff members. One's a bit of a boy racer and really puts his foot to the metal and isn't the best driver. He revs the engine, he's totally destroyed it. He's had a couple of scrapes and scratches on his car. The other person who's got the car is a nice old lady who maybe just potters down to the shops and potters back. 
We washes the car every week. Which car is going to be worth more? The one that is scratched and the engine's a bit dodgy because it's been revved so much. Or the one that's been looked after. Yeah? On the books, they are the same. In the accounts, they are the same. But in reality, they're not going to be. See what I mean? Yeah. So the fair value is what someone is willing to pay for the asset. Yeah. So that's one thing when you look at assets. You've got inventory. Why would you pay less for what's in the box? Why would you pay less than what's in the box? Hmm? The reason why you pay less is because you might have some old stocks and dusty stock at the back of the, the cupboard. Yeah? It's still on the box as what you actually purchased it for, but is it actually worth that amount? Yeah? Is it out of date? Is it actually there? It might have been stolen. It might have been damaged. It might have been thrown out. So again, the value of the inventories might be different from what is in the box. And that's why you've got an agreed price. Yeah? Does that make sense? Third thing is accounts receivable. Why would that be different and how do we treat that? a legal obligation. The person who owes you the money still has a legal obligation to pay that amount to you. Yeah? Unless they go bankrupt and therefore they can't pay. Yeah? And then that becomes a bad debt. However, some people will not pay. Yeah? <coughs> And it's going through and making sure that, that the value that you're taking over into the new partnership is a true reflection of how much you're actually going to get from these people. So because it's a legal obligation, the value of how much people owe you has to go into your box. Okay. What's the difference is the provision for doubtful debts. That might go up. So you're providing for, making an adjustment for people who aren't going to pay you. Make sense? Yeah. So those are three things that you need to be aware of when you're doing the journals. Yeah? Happy with that? <coughs> the next thing that you need to know is how to distribute the profits, okay? What is the distribution of the profits based on? Whatever is agreed to. Sorry? Whatever is agreed to. What's in the partnership agreement, okay? The partnership agreement can list a whole lot of things that they get paid out for. If they don't have a partnership agreement, he's not here. Okay. So what was I saying? The partnership, the partnership.
partnership agreement can list how you distribute it. If you don't have a partnership agreement, what's what do you have to buy it? Uh, what do you have to go by? Act. And what does the Partnership Act tell you? 50-50. Split evenly. If there is three partners, it will be split a third, a third, a third. Yep. So if you've got an agreement in place, then you do a distribution summary. Okay? And the distribution statement, sorry, outlines how are you going to distribute the cash? So you've got the profit, how are you going to divvy it up? There are key things that you can put through. Interest on current account. Okay? What does an interest on current account mean? What's that encouraging? Same with capital. Current account is making sure that people don't take the money out, keep on taking, taking, and their drawings exceed how much profit they've actually earned. So it's taken out too much compared to what they've actually earned. Yeah? So that's one. Capital, interest on capital account, is encouraging the people to keep the money, the capital side of it, so there's capital account and current account. Capital account is what the money you initially put in. Okay? Or what the money you're going to keep into the business. The current account records how much income you've actually got versus how much drawing. So that fluctuates a lot. The capital account doesn't. Yeah? The capital account is the money that you put in that you're going to keep in the business. And why do you put interest on the capital account? It's because you want people to keep the money in the business. And at the moment, if you get a high interest rate in the for your capital, it's better than putting it in the bank. It's better to invest in that company compared to putting it in the bank. Because you're getting more interest. Yeah? You want that capital in the business, that money in the business, because otherwise you won't be, the cash flow of that business will be hugely decreased. Okay? That working capital, we call it working capital, another term, is the money that works for the business, the money that keeps the business afloat, the money that you pay purchases before you sell sell the goods. Does that make sense? The money that you need in order to keep the business working before you get the money in. Yeah? Make sense? You'll also have salaries. Why would you have salaries? It's for the partners. Why do you have salaries full stop? You pay for people's time. Why wouldn't a partnership <coughs> pay for their partner's time? Okay? If someone works for the business, one partner works all day, every day for the business, the other partner has another job. Is that fair? No. So that's why you'd have a salary. Yeah? So you're pay, paying for the partner's time. Bonuses, same sort of thing. If the business does well, the person who is working for the business should be getting the bonus, because they have made the business do well. The person who isn't in the business all the time, maybe not, yeah? <clears throat> Why do you have interest on drawings? Same sort of principle as interest on capital account and current account. 
current account. You don't want people to take money out, take too much money out. Yeah? So you will go, in the question, you will get a list of how to distribute it, okay? And you just make those calculations. And at the end, whatever's left, you divide it as per the agreement. journals to open a business, you've got the distribution summary, that how to distribute the profit when the business is operating, and then finally you've got the capital and current account ledgers. Those capital and current account ledgers is recording how much each individual partners, how much money they've got into the business. So the capital being the working capital, the thing that stays in the business, and the current being the drawing plus what they take put in. The profit less the drawing. Or the distributions less the drawing. Yeah? Make sense? So that's the one that fluctuates up and down. When you do the funeral ledgers, That balance is what goes into your balance sheet under equity. Yeah? So that's your third, third and final thing, is how do you describe it in the balance sheet? Okay, so in the question, question one, on the 1st of April 2012, 1st of April 2012, okay. Two friends have decided to form a jewellery shop, a store. Fredo Baggins is to contribute enough cash to have 60% of the partnership, and Sam is to contribute his existing business at fair value. Okay? So what's the two journals that we are looking at doing? The two types. Journals. Yep, no. What's the two types? I said, you know how we went back to the three? What are the two types that we have to do? Cash. An existing business. Yeah? So should we do the cash one first? Oh. Thank you. 
what are the two accounts that are going to be affected in the partnership? Where do we put cash? and they're going to keep in the business. Yeah? And this is Fredo's capital. Okay. Happy with that. What is the amount that we're going to put in? If it is 60% of the total, <coughs> how do we how much do we know is 40%? Oh, is it 40%? What's the value of 40% of it? Oh, equal to what? You guys can get a calculator out. Anyone got it? Bank is a what? Asset or liability? Asset is going up. Bank. So this is a dead coil. Debit. Dead coil. Yeah. Debit, expense, asset. Drawing. Yeah. Are you happy with that side? That's your first one. He's contributing a whole company, so we have to look at goodwill, don't we? Okay. We have the trial balance for it. We've got accounts receivable. With accounts receivable, it's a legal obligation. The whole 45,000 is a legal obligation. Okay? So it was 45. We adjust it by doing what? Um, doubtful debt. Yeah, provision for doubtful debt. Properly need adjusting. What's the inventory amount that we're going to put in? Six 
you a fair value, assume the fair value is equal to the book value, what's in the account. Okay? So we've done all of the debit side, we're doing the credit side. Accounts payable is always going to be what is it, what's on the box. Why? Because it's a legal obligation for you to pay that. You're not going to pay your bills. Not, not going to pay your bills. Yeah? Ignore capital, because that was it to do with their old business. We'll have a new capital allowance. <clears throat> Ignore allowance for doubtful debt, because we've already included that there. GST payable. What have they said Sam is going to do? <coughs> Sorry? He's going to pay it personally. Yeah? So, if he's paying it personally, does it exist? Or has it been paid? Been paid. He's also paid twenty five thousand of the mortgage, leaving what? How much of the mortgage left? Five thousand. Five thousand of the mortgage left. <coughs> how much is Sam? Is all of this worth? What is the green fair value for all of this? That is the capital amount that he's putting in. This doesn't balance. So what's the what is the account that we need to put in? willing to buy it for, to pay for it. Why would you put it over at 20 grand when it's only worth 15? Yeah? When you can go down the road and get a new, another car exactly the same for a hell of a five grand less. Yeah? So it's fair value. What's in the box? is an estimate, because depreciation is an estimate of the how much it goes down. It isn't a true reflection of what the real life is. Because someone could put more scratches on it, put more dents in it, rev the engine more in real life, 
and you can't take that into consideration. Yeah? You happy with that answer? Yeah? Describe how accounts receivable. <coughs> Do you want to have enough time to write that explanation in there? Do a couple of minutes? Or are you just quite happy with that? Yeah? Happy with that? Describe how accounts receivable is recorded in the general journal entry to the accounts for Sam's contribution to the partnership. Fully explain how accounts receivable was recorded in a way you have described. How has accounts receivable re been recorded? It's been recorded at, at the 445, which is the full amount legally owed to us. Yeah, That's a legal requirement. The exchange contracts, you've sold the goods. That person legally has legally has to pay you. However, some people aren't going to pay you. So you're providing for the people that aren't going to pay you, pay you through provision of the outcome. Yeah? Of three rounds. Make sense? Yeah, you happy with that explanation? <coughs> Could you write a couple of sentences in regards to that? Yeah? That's the journal side of it. That is creating a partnership. That's how we create a partnership. Now we go on to running the partnership. Okay, so the partnership has been running for a year. Everything's gone extremely well because they have created a profit of how much is the profit? Two hundred thousand. Two hundred thousand. Okay. We are asked to do what? The distribution or oh, profit distribution statement. Yep. Profit distribution statement. Told the agreement says. What does the agreement say? agreement, then it is split as per Sorry, you put in. whatever you put in the agreement. Sorry, you, put in you can have the list. And these are where the adjustments come in. Okay? This would be what is in the agreement. Yeah? So, in the agreement, the following clauses. What it means by clauses is What's in the agreement? The clause is something that is written in the agreement that they have to abide by. They have to do. Yeah? So, the first one is what? Interest on current account. Interest on current account. It's charged or credited on the opening balance at 10%. So, first thing, interest. 
long arm. Head down. And the old big steps. And try those. Okay. Sam's current account is a negative. That means he owes the partnership money. Yeah? So what's 10% of the opening? money going out or got money going in to the partnership? Out. out. So you've been paid. How much is Fredo's one? 30,000. 30,000. Happy with that? Ninety grand worth of profit still to distribute. Okay, what's the next thing that we need to do? Interest on taxes. Interest on capital. What is this account? This is the money that stays in the business. It doesn't go up and down usually. And it says interest on capital account based on the average monthly capital. We can see with Sam it's gone up 10 grand. When did it go up? Okay, so we've got April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March. Yep. So at the end of September, it went up 10 grand. Yep. So it went up to 160. So it was at the end. So in October, it's gone up. Before it was 150. Yep. So for six months, the 
its eighth seat. times 0 0.08 divided by 12 times 6. Yeah? Happy with that? Exactly the same, 160,000 times 0 0.08 a percentage divided by 12 times 6. <coughs> concept here but with sand which is 200 times 8 divided by 12 times 6 210 times 0.08 times 6 divided by 12 yep where did I get those capital numbers of the amount of drawings above the agreed salary. So how much did Sam draw out? 70. 70. What was his salary? 50. 50. So 20 grand over? 2,000. Yep. Fredo's salary for, uh, drawings was? we finished. You happy with that? What we've just done? You just go down the list. That's all you need to do. Go down the list systematically. Making sure that you think through, is this money going into the partnership or is it going out? The 
pay, is partnership paying someone or is it receiving the money? Therefore, if it's paying the money, the profit's going to go down. If it's receiving the money, the profit's going to go up. Happy with that. Okay. Next question. We have to prepare capital account, which is the general ledger. With a general ledger, what do you have to start with? What's the first thing? <coughs> Bank. <coughs> what do you start with with all as, uh, assets, liabilities, and equities? What's the starting of the general ledger? The first transaction. Does it happen in the income statement or the the income or expenses. Always start with a balance. That's at the beginning of the year. What's the what's the balance of this account? The capital account is set. The beginning of the year. not told anything else, so you're assuming they put it in the bank. Yeah? This is a credit account. We're going, it's going into the bank, so what are we going to do? Are we going to debit or credit this account? Credit. Credit this account. Balance is going to be Does that, is that what we're told in our extra information. Yes. That's it. Done. Okay. D. A bit more complicated. Yeah? And what about bonus? C. We only have to do the current account or we have to do the current account operator. Now. Yeah? We're only told to do Sam's current account, uh, capital account, sorry. We're told to do Credit. current account on Fredo. Okay. So at the beginning of the, what does it start off with? Balance.
balance at the 31st of the 3rd, 2018. What's the balance? any of the profits, that's the balance. They might have been, it looks like they got, they took some money out or something happened to their current account throughout the year. We're ignoring that. But if, before we did any distribution, with that? Cool. So, what did it get, what did Fredo get distribution? negative he received. So 17 with 3,000. Yeah? Now we've got 18,000. Yeah. Next thing he got, working down. Interest on drawings, he had to pay that interest, didn't he? So he had to pay how much? Um, 
following profit sharing clause in their partnership agreement. Interest on capital is included in the partnership agreement. Why would you have a partnership agreement? Why would you have that clause in your partnership agreement? What is that encouraging? To keep the money in the bank. Keep the money in the business. You keep it, why do you want to keep that money in the business? Because that's what makes a business work. That's your working capital. So the business can pay their bills on time before they get the money in back when they sell the goods. Yeah? <coughs> Just keeps the money flowing. It's usually cheaper than going to a bank and getting a loan. I'd rather pay myself the interest <coughs> than pay the bank the interest. Yeah? People also, the interest on, is I think 10%, is more than what they would get in the bank. So it encourages them to keep the money in the business rather than take it out and put it in the bank or invest it somewhere else. Yeah? Make sense? Yeah. Is that all of the questions? What's the next question? See. Oh. You happy with that? Question three. Okay. following information, so it's a different business now. Capital is Sam and Capital of Fredo. Okay, that is the general ledger. The profit before distribution is 220,000. Drawings, Current account, blah, blah, blah. Okay? The, the free the equity section of the statement of financial position, the venture partner. I've got a question, Max. What's the um, question before? If you get one of these values wrong here, and you show that you actually were more than here, does it matter? The error will not carry forward. Okay, so if you show you still need to work. Yeah. So you, if you get one bit wrong and you use the same value in the next bit, <coughs> it will still be right. Okay. Yeah? Happy with that? You can't really prepare the equity section without doing the note. So you have to do question B before you can do question A.
without sand. Note. Go back to question A. Go back to question A. What are you going to put? So equity, capital, current, total. Total capital? Um, 216. What's your total current? What's your total current, guys? Yes. So, 
what would you put in your wording for a current account clause? They were charged at an open balance of ten percent. I would say interest on current account is charged or credited on the opening balance at ten percent per annum. You've already been given the cause in a previous question. Just use it. Yeah? Clauses are legal documents, so they're legal, legally worded. When you're not legal people, we don't expect you to write in legal speak. That's why they give it to you. Yeah? Just copy it. Happy with that? Interest on current account is charged or credited on the opening balance at whatever percentage you want to put in. Yeah? The reason why I know it's a cause is because it tells you in the question in question two. It says included uh, in the partnership agreement for Sam and Frodo owners of the jewellery included the following clauses. That's what it's asking you. That was a question too. Yeah? Happy with that? Okay. Prepare the entries to transfer Sam and interest to drawings to the current account. Journal, not a general ledger. Oh. What's the two accounts that are going to be affected? Current account. Who's current account? Um, Sam's. You always have to put <coughs> the partner's name because the current accounts are different accounts. Sam's got a different current account compared to Fredo. Yeah? Happy with that. What's the other side of it? And it's always going to be the other side of it. And it only happens in partnerships. What's it coming from? What's the statement that we've just done? Is 
what? It's going to be paying or receiving interest? He's paying. Paying interest. He's paying interest because he's, he's taken money out and then he shouldn't have. He has paid for that. To pay for that privilege. Okay? Carroll's account is a debit or a credit account? Credit. Credit account. So how do we decrease it? Are we going to debit or credit it? Debit. Debit it. Don't forget to put your description at the back. Transfer uh, her interest on drawings or something similar. Okay? So, next one, E. Prepare the entries to account for Fredo's interest on capital at 5% of closing balance. Yeah? So, what's the accounts that are going to be affected? Um, the bookstore. Always going to be anything that has to be a distribution affects the current account, doesn't affect the capital. Capital stays constant unless they decide to put money in. Okay? Current account goes up and down. So it's current account Fredo. What's the other side? So 5% of negative 25,000? I don't know, what's 5% of that? 12? 12,500? No, 1,250? My brain's dying today, sorry. They didn't have an agreement. What's 
They wouldn't have all that. What would they have instead? What would they have to base it on? The Partnership Act. Okay? They'd have to base it on the Partnership Act, and the Partnership Act tells it tells you it, they have to distribute it Even. evenly. Okay? So the distribution, what was their profit? Did they tell you what the profit is? It was 50. The profit before distribution was 3,210. They would have had to distribute it 110 each. Yeah? And it wouldn't have taken into consideration any of the drawings, any of the current account balance, interest on current account, salaries, um, interest, uh, interest on capital, and the share of profit two to one. So Sam gets more of the profit than Hayden gets. Because that's what the agreement tells us. If they didn't, it would be 50-50. Yeah? Happy with that? You could write a paragraph in regards to that. Guess what? We finished. When are we doing this thing? When do you want to do it? Going to do it next period? Tomorrow? What's the day? Today's Tuesday. So Thursday will be. We can do it Thursday or we can do it Friday. Up to you guys. Thursday? Thursday? Will you be here? Where are you going? For what? For me. Okay. We can possibly do it Friday. Yeah. Or if you want to come in, put me for any of these. guys happy with that? Does it make more sense? Okay, so recapping. When you start the business, what with the journals, what do you, what's the three different journals that you have to do, you can do, to get money into the partnership or assets into the partnership? You can have So how do you do it? What's the journals? Someone can put what in and someone cash. someone can put a money in. Cash in. Assets. Assets or the business. Okay? But if they put cash in, simple. Two line journal. If they put assets in, you just put them in as what you've told. If you put a business in, what do you have to look for? Goodwill. Easy. Second one is doing a distribution. When you're running the business, you have at the end of the year, you have to do a distribution summary. And you base that distribution, so that's just allocating the profit to the different partners based on what? What do you base it on? How do you do it? Whatever the partnership agreement says. Okay? If you don't have a partnership agreement, what do you have to do? What do you have to base it on? Split uh, between all the people. But what? An act. Yeah, partnership act. It's a partnership act <coughs> that, you have, that you have to abide by. <coughs> the agreement, when you do the agreement, you just go through the of the agreement. They will tell you the clauses of the agreement. You just do what it says. Yeah? When you get to the end, when you get to doing the general ledger, you put all of the stuff that's in the distribution. What's excluded from the distribution? Which is included in the general ledger? At the beginning, you'll have a a balance. For the 
last thing that you do will have what's the last adjustment that you make. Drawing. Okay. Drawings is not included in the distribution summary. Okay. At the end, what when you've done all the distribution, you have to put it into your financial statements. Yeah? In the financial statements, you'll have a current account and a <coughs> capital account. That's what sits in your financial statements. To give them more information, you have to do a note. That's when you split it per partner and do the calculation per partner. I would recommend doing the calculation per partner and then go back and do what's actually in the financial statements. Yeah? What's the other things? What's the different things that you have to account for and why when you put stuff into the business? Agreed value or fair value, okay, of the assets. Yeah. Majority of the time you use the fair value, apart from what account? Account receivable. Account receivable. Why do you use the actual amount there? Because it's a legal obligation. Yeah, they are legally obligated. What's the thing that you adjust instead? Doubtful. Provision for doubtful debt. Remember, there's a difference between doubtful debt and provision for doubtful debt. That has to be provision for doubtful debt. Okay? Why would you decrease an inventory? Why would the... the there might be old stock in there. It might not be worth... It might be damaged. It might be stolen. So usually they do a stock take to give the true value. Okay? Happy with that? Yeah. Cool. If you guys want me to go through this again tomorrow, book me in. Okay? I'm absolutely positive you're going to do extremely well with this. Yeah? Everybody happy? Any questions? Was that easier than previous?